Welcome to our tutorial about repeats. Repeats are a great way to loop an event over and over. For example, you can take a short drum loop, phrase, etc., and repeat it for the duration of your song. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to repeat an audio event. It's really simple. First, let's select this event. Then we'll press Shift G. This activates cycle playback. In Cycle Playback, Cubase will loop this phrase over and over again. This lets me listen to how seamless the beginning and end sound. If there's an issue, I may need to go down to the sample level to make some edits or trim a little, etc., just so my loop is really tight. It did sound good, let's stop the playback. Now click the event with the Object Selection tool, and we choose Repeat from the Edit menu. The Repeat Events dialog window will open. Shortcut Control K. First, let's select how many copies we need. We can use these arrows or enter a value manually. This is six bars, so I can probably use ten copies, something like that. I can easily delete extras later or add them if I need them. Checking shared copies means the copies of the event will refer back to the original event. They won't be new recreations of the event on my hard drive. It'll save some space. It also means if you make some changes to the original event, like editing or processing, all the copies will be modified too. It is more convenient and can save you a lot of time. Click OK. As you can see, the repeats are placed directly after my original event. They are placed seamlessly so that there's no space in between them. Let's just have a listen to make sure the transition between repeats sounds OK. Okay, sounds all right. I didn't hear any clicking or any other type of disjointed rhythm, etc. Let's stop our playback. Now how about if I want to make a change to one copy, but not to all the copies? A change like a fade-in won't automatically apply to all the copies. Let's zoom back out so you can see. As you can see, only one copy is faded in. None of the other repetitions have this fade in. But processing changes, for example, some of the changes you find under the audio menu, normalizing, EQ, noise gates, etc., these would apply to all of the events that are copied. In that case, what you could do is just simply delete one of the shared copies and then copy and paste it using the standard command with an alt drag. Or copy from the edit menu. If you do see some space, you'll need to adjust. Even better, activate snap mode and make your events magnetic. They will automatically snap together. Any modifications that I make to this new segment won't be repeated to the other shared copies. And this concludes our tutorial about the repeat function.